loading up some custom ammunition and I was trying to get the headspace set at two thousandths. So after I full length resized it, I wanted the headspace at two thousandths. Now, let's just say I screwed this up 16 times. So I had 16 cases that I set aside and I finally got it dialed in and then I, was, I loaded the rest of my ammo. But I thought, you know, this would be a great test for those 16 rounds. So the head spacing is all over the place. It's anywhere from four thousandths to thirteen thousandths. And everything else is the same. Obviously the same bullet, same powder charge, same neck tension. I mean, everything that could possibly be done is exactly the same. There's no variables except for the head space. So I thought, let's just figure out, you know, what kind of velocities I'll get, extreme spread, sectional density, and why not check the accuracy too. So I'm going to shoot 16 and see what it looks like. All right, so I shot my first three shot group. Velocities was 2739, 2793, and 2831. Let's see what the group looked like. You're not gonna believe it, but the first two was in the same hole. <laughs> I had two in the same hole. That was the third one. So, I mean, you know, I didn't write down the head spacing, so I don't know, but maybe those two were close to the same. I've got 13 more to shoot, but that's funny that the first two was in the same hole, but let's continue shooting. All right, next three was 2786, 2791, 2828. So I know you don't have to see the target every three shots, but I need to let my gun cool off anyway. So it's a beautiful day. It's a little windy though, but the wind is getting, it was around 15 miles an hour. Now it's around 10, 11, 12 gusts. So it's not too bad. It's very cloudy. I don't really need these but there is no rain or nothing like that. So it's really nice. Perfect day for shooting. Could be a little less windy, but I like it. Kind of want to get in as much shooting as I can before it gets full on summer and gets really hot. Well, <laughs> it's not a bad group except for that one flyer. Not bad at all. So far, we're just a little over an inch and that's five shots. Did have that one flyer. I'd say it's because of the head spacing issue, but we'll just keep going. Those three was 2833, 2817, 2815. I think the dispersion here is going to start to get a little bigger. Could be because the barrel's heating up. Of course, I'm walking down here each time, letting it cool with the bolt open. But also, it's probably the headspace. <laughs> when I shot those first two and they were touching, I thought, oh boy, this is not going to go the way I thought it was going to go. But it appears that it's starting to open up quite a bit. Still not horrific, but still not so good. Right, so that's the group now. It's definitely opened up. Even if you don't count that first flyer, it was actually the third shot, so it wasn't a cold bore flyer. Even if you don't count that, you're talking probably close to two inch group. Um, you count that, it's more like two and a quarter inch group so seen a lot worse but it is starting to open up all right so i skipped ahead a little bit shot a few more i'm down to three so here in just a second i'll shoot the last three and i'll shoot those on camera but go down here and look i will say that the velocity is not that terrible it's 
right there fairly close i'll add it up here at the very end and give you all the numbers but it's not that terrible the group is nothing to write home about um so anyway i didn't tell you at the beginning but i'm shooting 140 grain burger vld in a lapua case it's just a standard cci large rifle primer and i'm using h4350 so these are not the hottest loads i've ever shot in this particular with that batch of components out of this gun i've shot them a little bit hotter but i just reduced the charge a little bit also just pushed it back in there a little bit on the seating depth just to kind of see where it's at it's not near as far out as i used to have it just to see um, the overall goal of this of course was the head spacing question so decide what the heck i'll just kind of see what it does but kind of a conservative load not really spiced up and i continue to get a uh, two inch group or so so i'm going to say two and a half inch group so that is 13 shots and it's a two and a half inch group shoot my last three here in a second i don't really know the answer to this what do you guys think do you think different head spaces do you think different head spacing is kind of all over the place would affect accuracy more or would it affect velocity more so leave that in the comments below I have not figured out the standard deviation yet, but I did figure out the average velocity, which was 28, 23. Extreme spread was 70, which I would say is not good. Now, the extreme spread would have been much more than 70 if I counted the first shot. So I, when getting my average velocity and extreme spread, I did not count the first shot because it was a cold bore shot. I, I cleaned the barrel 100%. It was extremely clean. And that first shot was like, almost 100 feet per second slower than the rest of the shots that I made so I'm gonna th throw that one out but anyway extreme spread not counting that one with 15 shots was 70 which I would say is not good I'll post the standard deviation right here so you can see what it is I haven't figured it out yet but the average muzzle velocity was 28 23 coming up here on the target we'll look at the group this is a 16 shot group the flyer that I've mentioned a few times was not the cold four shot, so it does have to count. Um, unless those last three I shot really jumped way off the, the path, it's probably going to be about a two and a half inch group at 100 yards, So, which is not good, I would say. But that's a 16 shot group. So here's the group. As you can see, it hasn't change much my first two was like right there that was my third one and then all the rest have been in that area and that is about two and a half inches two and a half inches so it's about a two and a half inch group 16 shot group all right so once again just to recap everything about these hand loads was a hundred percent consistent with no variables except head spacing was all over the place anywhere from four thousandths to thirteen thousandths so i just wanted to perform a test and see what it would do so i would say it's not good a two and a half inch group at 100 yards is not good um, extreme spread of 70 is not good and even though i haven't calculated it but yet you've seen it on the screen i don't think my standard deviation was great i don't think it was terrible but i don't think it was great so um now obviously I'm shooting at 100 yards here so if you're shooting you know four five six hundred yards a thousand yards it's gonna be pretty terrible it's gonna have a massive you know spread so definitely not good for target shooting now just from my experience shooting this particular 65284 and those burger bullets I would say I would have got an inch and a half group with 
16 shots maybe a flyer but probably like an inch and a half group and that's kind of what i've got in the past i've had really good groups but my personal estimation is if i shot a 16 round group where everything including the head spacing was correct i think it'd be closer to an inch and a half and so not good it definitely widened the dispersion definitely increased the ex extreme spread so here's my conclusion it definitely matters it definitely had an impact it definitely made things worse however not as much as i thought so if i took that rifle hunting and i had those shots and i knew that they could make a two and a half inch group at 100 yards that's a dead deer okay so it's it's okay if your head spacing's all over the place or from four to thirteen thousands you could hunt with it at least at 100 yards and you know i thought that the standard deviation and extreme spread would be even bigger so it's not as big as i thought it was going to be however it definitely had a negative impact hope you've enjoyed this video uh, stay tuned for more videos like this and all kinds of cool outdoor stuff check the description below for some links to my other stuff going on if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you agree with me on what i've seen disagree with me please leave it in the comments below and if you know more about this than i do and you have some good advice please explain to me what you think that the head spacing can do so appreciate you watching until next time have a good day take care